face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? Of course, as always, welcome back to another, of course, Who Was Really Better? And this week, we're looking upon Generations 1 Fire and Flying Pokemon being Charizard versus Moltres. Now, these two has been actually on par with one another for the dominance of which one of these are better. And while Talonflame made a run for its money with this combination in mind, it should be said that the Fire Flying has always been viable to Generation 4 when it got heavily nerfed due to Stealth Frogs. But it doesn't mean that this combination of typing is bad. Quite frankly, the opposite. It is a very good defensive typing with a few defensive flaws. So with that said, I'm going to go over, as always, their stats, ability, move pool, and overall strength to see which one of these two are really better. Now, let's start with what they share, which is their typing. Now, the reason I say flying and fire is such a good combination is because flying does resolve one big issue for the well, for its weaknesses, and that is resolving the immunity in ground. Uh, while fire does have a weakness to fire and rock, which does not get resolved here, it is a good immunity to get rid of, of course, the ground weakness and also, of course, getting rid of the issue besides the toxic spikes and spikes. That said, we strongly resist bug ground, which is really good, and then we resist even further fairy, fighting, fire, and steel. We are weak to, as we mentioned, fire and, of course, I mean water and rock, but we're also weak to new thing here, being with flying in mind, actually electric. So, there are a lot of resistances and a one immunity and a few rather common weaknesses. Electric and water might be manageable, but the rock issue is not an easy task to resolve, mainly due to stellar frogs, but also just as a whole, the ground and rock combination is something, or edge quake is very common, so one really has to keep that in mind when using these Pokemon. That said though, it is a good defensive typing, just not as good as it was when it was introduced. Now the next thing we're going to go over is their stats, and yeah, just around at it, Moltres wins in most round, even though they're really similar here, it should be stated here that Moltres has more HP, more attack, more defense, and more special attack, but it peak at pretty much the same thing here, both have really high special attack, 109 versus 125, yeah, it, that's very clear that both hits very hard, especially the offensive side, Moltres just might hit a bit harder. They tie on a special defense for 85 and and the speeds are here. Charizard actually do win at 100 versus 90. Charizard is actually a lot faster than Moltres. So while it doesn't hit as hard, it is more sustainable for actually hitting first, which is something to keep in mind. Charizard might not be the most defensively capable Pokemon, and it might not hit as hard as Moltres, but it sure as hell hits first. And that is always a perk when we talk about this. That said though, Moltres is defensively a marvel with those 90 in both HP and defense, and 85 in special defense is not necessarily that bad either. Uh, so, um, just overall, Moltres is a very good tank, Charizard is a speedier threat, but they both have their strengths and, of course, issues with this stat distribution in mind. Now, next thing we're going to talk about is their abilities. We're going to start with Charizard since it got both of the abilities in Generation 5, while Moltres had to wait a little bit more. Now, Charizard has Blaze, which is a decent ability for it. Uh, boosting fire type stab with 50% when your HP is below 33%, so not a bad thing at all. And then we have solar power, which basically gives a life or boost in the sun. Basically, you boost every hit your special attack hit uh, is boosted by 33%, I believe. And yeah, it does hit like a truck, it basically resolves life or damage. Now, you don't want to combine this with a life or because well, it hurts every turn, <laughs> but. This combination with C Sunday Day is a very, very strong set for Charizard and it should definitely not be underestimated. But definitely said it here, Solar Power, while being overall better, it also requires a lot for a player to use because either you have to set it on your own or you have to deal with it in a different environment. And quite frankly, the different environments is not an environment for Charizard being, of course, the UU tier. Now, Moltres has Flame Body, but it actually got that late, got in Generation 6. It actually has for the longest time pressure, and since Moltres is bulkier, pressure really isn't such a bad ability to have, because it can actually peep stall <laughs> different situations, because as you guys saw here, we have immunity and a lot of resistances with actually fire flying, so being able to use pressure, it's an excellent option for Moltres. Now, Flame Body though, it's not that bad either. 
Um, basically, you have a 30% chance of getting burned when you hit with a contact move here. And that could be very devastating considering Moltres overall ball can be able to soak pretty common contact moves such as, of course, um, play rough and close combat, you know, or, or even heavy slam stuff like that. It is able to come in on those, even Mega Horn. It just continues. The things that Moltres does resist, it can really punish back with, of course, being scoring that burn. But overall here, I would say that Moltres has a better overall options that stated. Charizard's ability does make it more menacing and threatening, but the other abilities on Moltres is more defensively capable and overall, in my honest opinion, makes it slightly better than Charizard. But as you guys always know, a Pokemon is only as good as it movable allows it to be. So with that said, we're gonna go over course what they do share, but also what they are separated between, because what are really defining these fine beasts? Let's find out. Now, quick rundown of the relevant move that they share between one another. First, they both get Roost. Roost is a one crucial thing for both of them. Being this defensive typing, yeah, Roost really does resolve a lot. Then we have their stamp move in Fire Blast and Flamethrower. And then with filler moves in Solar Beam, we have Asian Power and also supporting moves in Tailwind. They both also get Flying Stabs in Air Slash and Air Cutter, though Air Slash clearly the more interesting one. And the basic filler move for all fire types being the Will O Wisp. But that's basically where it all ends. Well, there are a few niche moves that are ominous wins and stuff like that. I don't believe they are as relevant for this dialogue. So, with that said, let's go over what the Moltres get over Charizard. Now, Moltres on his own doesn't have the biggest move pool over Charizard. Quite frankly, it's not a whole lot it does get over Charizard. That said, what it does get is fairly relevant, and that is, first of all, its flying stab. It gets Hurricane, the strongest flying special stab there is. And having this over Charizard is very, very significant for a lot of reasons. And for foremost is actually that just overall, it is one of the few, if not the only fire type that actually thrives in rain due to having these 100% accurate um, hurricane spams. It is on the same strength as Tornado's T, and that on its own is definitely formidable. That said, we have a few moves over here that really is tended to be talked about. We have Burn Up, which is one of the strongest. Uh, fire type moves over in the game actually it does it does get rid of your fire type and quite frankly that could be significantly really good for individually of course um, Moltres on his own due to being only soul flying type it could resolve a possible water issue but quite frankly it just overall a very cool move we also have U-turn and U-turn of course as always always relevant being able to actually capitalize on Piloting around, and while the typing is not allowing for it, it definitely should be stated here that this is something it does have over Charizard. And of course, last but not least, the Sky Attack, making even its physical move pool possibly relevant. That said, these are the only moves it does get over Charizard. While there are, as stated as always, a few niches such as agility and whatnot, they're not enough, in my honest opinion, to make it more significant over Charizard. That said, though, we're of course gonna talk about Charizard because sure as hell does this Pokemon pack a few extra moves over Moltres. I should start with the obvious here. Charizard has two setup moves over Moltres. And those are Sword Stance and Dragon Dance, both being very relevant as it does allow it to be a possible mix sweeper. Other than that, we have a physical fire type move in Fire Punch, Fire Fang, but also the more relevant one being actually Flare Blitz. Now, on the special side, we have Inferno if you want to capitalize on that, but you probably won't need to. Uh, on the physical side, we also have Earthquake, we have Brick Break, we have Philemus in Rock Tomb, Rock Slide, we have Focus Blast, we have Skydrop, if you want to capitalize on that, we have Shadow Claw, Dragon Tail. And on the egg move side, we have Belly Drum, if you want to capitalize on that, we have Beat Up Crunch, Metal Claw, Counter, Focus Punch. And on the Cheer Move side, that it has over Moltres, because I, I see like I can continue for days, but quite frankly, there are a lot to cover here. We have Iron Tail, we have Thunder Punch, and we have Fury Cutter, yay that. And of course, Mud Slap, if you want to capitalize on it, see if possible move. And as his last filler move, we actually have Dynamic Punch. Uh, but overall, yeah, Charizard has a lot to bring to the table on the constant move pool. So it basically boils down to whether or not this extra move pool over Moltres make it better. So 
When I made this video, I really had one outcome in mind, and um, it actually shifted. It shifted quite a lot, and it really has a lot to do with how really, really interesting Charizard is as a whole. I really believe, had Stealth Frog never got introduced, Charizard would have been deemed a lot more viable in Generation 4 due to the extra moves it gets. And just overall, it's move pool with acrobatics and C moves and etc. I do believe Charizard is a tremendous Pokemon in so many ways. But there is where it all ends. But we're, we're, what I tried to say is that, yeah, Charizard is tremendous in the league counts that it might actually overall be considered actually better. For me, sadly, Moltres is, in my opinion, due to Hurricane and being able to be a Pokemon that is able to bulk itself up and ruin matchups by necessarily its bulk together with Pressure and Roost, it becomes a lot more stellar and a lot more usable in more environment while i would say charizard is a very very good setup sweeper its typing rarely allows it to be that and therefore i make moltres the winner because it's overall a threat from this turn one setup but when i was starting this episode i really was looking at charizard you know what a possible great sweeper it could have been belly drum dragon dance sword stance strong speed here but that's pretty much all of it. Since the typing aren't allowing it to be a setup sweeper due to stealth rank and whatnot, it is just not enough in so many environments. Moltres is actually thriving in a situation it's not supposed to, primarily rain of course, but just overall, the pressure ruse defensively very capable against a lot of situations. It is a threat on its own, and even with stealth frogs as a possible issue, I do believe that still is actually for some reason resolved. And I would never even think about that. Now that out of the way, I really gotta say though, had Stealth Rock never been introduced, Charizard would be a really tremendous threat to this generation, or in generation 4 and onward. I mean, Soul Stance, Dragon Dance really are that big of a deal. It's basically flying on with a bigger move pool, and that is something to be considered about. Uh, with it, of course, that is always out of the way. What do you guys think? Which one do you think is team better here? Because for me, it was not a short cut on which one it was supposed to be that. It just basically become that Moltres overall is always a threat no matter its environment, while Charizard is, at best, really, really limited to the hazards in play. And, and that really was a nail in the coffin for me. So that's it, guys. Always thank you for watching, of course. And join us next time where we're going to look upon two other fire types.